I'm going to wait for that, Jesse. I'm going to go right here. <laughs> Carrie, and I'm going to come back to you. What are you looking for in a man? So let me say this before I say, is my, can y'all hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Okay. Before I say what I want, what I desire in a man, let me say this. There is nothing that a man I love couldn't put in my hands and I multiply it. That's nothing. Fact. That's fact. I don't care if he worked at Burger King. By the time we get finished, he gonna own a chain of them. Oh, there is you. nothing. There is nothing a man I love couldn't put in my hands and I can't multiply. So let me put that right here. <laughs> What what I desire, though, <laughs> what is wrong with you? She got the trillions, Travis. She got the trillions. She got the trillions. She got the trillions. <laughs> but let me say what I desire. The Bible doesn't give a whole lot of information necessarily on how we date. But we can look at the characteristics of God to determine what type of person we want. So there it is. I'm not telling you a person that I want to date. I'm telling you what I want from a husband. Yes. So from a husband, I desire a man who has very clear vision. Yes. He is clear about purpose and destiny, not just for himself, but a man who you marry has to be able to cultivate what is in and on you as well. Yes. So I can't have a man who is unclear about where he is going and who who is intimidated by what and who I am. He has to be able to help me cultivate what I am as well. So I desire clear vision. I desire clear purpose. I need definition. I'm not a go with the flow type of woman. I need to know where we going, what we doing, what's the destination. I thrive. Hear this. I thrive when I know what's going on and I shouldn't have to ask you. I need you to lay out the plan for us. Take me on a drive. Huh? 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 Don't huh? Don't up, don't Wait a don't minute, up, hold on. Up, hold on. Listen, I don't care if you gotta put me in a car. We ain't gotta have no money at this point, but hold on. Put me in a car, drive me around, talk to me. Listen! 
Listen, you have women who are carrying destiny and purpose on them. You don't have time for all of this stuff. And let me tell you this, the enemy uses relationships with us because he knows that it is the one thing that can derail what our destiny is. Hell studies how we love and who we love. It is the thing that demons use the most. This is why we date the same spirit in a is. different body. There it is. There it is. There it is. He knows that if I can get her in a dysfunctional relationship, I can steal her confidence. I can kill her esteem. What? And then I can destroy her destiny. So for me, the things that I desire, to me, that ain't that much. Oh. Hallelujah. That ain't that much. Because, yeah, in, because in comparison about what you going to get back,